Hey everybody, and how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Russ Robo Channel News for March. Um, there are a few things I just wanted to talk about. I uh, figured I'd get the channel news started. The first thing I wanted to say was uh, thanks for 200 subs. We've uh, reached 200 subscribers on the channel. Now, um, an important note to that may be the fact that we may or, we may or may not drop below 200 subscribers uh, within the coming few days, and that's okay. Um, basically, we're at 205, 206 now, and I'm just, I wanted to say thank you. I'm really glad that we have that, and I appreciate you guys sticking with the channel and checking it out. Um, basically, I wanted to, you know, say uh, I appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Even if it, it might dip down for a little bit, it might go back up, that's really, that's okay. Uh, I wanted to say thank you, and I really appreciate it. The next thing I wanted to talk about is that I'm finally back online again. I have uh, internet access. Comcast came out, I think it was, hmm, Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm not sure. Um, as you're watching this, it should go up Friday, I believe. But basically, I've been online and enjoying it for uh, the last couple of days, and it's nice to be back online after nearly two and a half months of really only having my cell phone um, to, to, you know, to do things with and I know that you know internet's not a thing that's <laughs> necessary for any sort of survival but it's just a nice convenience to be able to have it back the next thing I wanted to talk about is um, the fact that now that I am online uh, I may be able to do live streams soon I'm not sure exactly how that's going to go or what uh, day or at what time that I'm going to do those but um, when I've basically worked out the kinks and I have a pretty good idea of you know what time would be good for me as well as the channel as well as my audience I think I'll announce it then and let you guys know what all I'm planning on I know that on a regular basis I'm normally off on Sundays and Mondays well at that time if they are they are if they're not they're not that's okay anybody could come and check out the live stream I wanted to do um, basically make it a regular habit to try for once a week, maybe once every other week. Um, I'm back on the night crew now, so that might be different for a little while. Uh, I'm working overnights uh, again, so that's uh, <laughs> I'm already looking pale. And I know I look like crud, but I just got off work. I work at nights now, so it's um it's not very it's not very easy to keep up appearances. You know, it is what it is, and you know if. If you look like crap, you just look like crap. That's all there is to it. There's nothing you can do about it. I'd like to get a small group of my friends together for um, videos for the channel. Uh, I'm thinking more like co-op games and multiplayer games. I had some in mind. Um, what I need to do is get some gameplay from those games. And I'd like to have a small video to show my friends to be like, Hey, so-and-so, this is what we'll be playing. Um, I'll be online at these hours. If you and you and you are available, let's you know, let's group up and maybe we can play this game together as a as a couple of friends. You know, I've got like three or four people in mind that I'd like to get together as a group and do group projects together. That I think would be really fun. It would probably be on the PlayStation 4, since I know that all of them have the PlayStation system, and that they each have a mics that they can use to, you know, like, I could actually hear them and interact and all that good stuff. The next thing I was thinking about is that um, now that I am back online, I noticed that I'm finally caught up on my PlayStation Plus uh, subscription, like the membership thing for the free games. One of the free games is a PSVR game that's been out for a while, but to me it's still relative, uh, relatively recent. It's called uh, Farpoint, and I find it very interesting. It makes me think sort of like Stormtroopers, uh, you know, and it's a PSVR game. You've got the, um, you've got that, um, what's it called, the aim, the aim controller that's uh, shaped like the little, you know, handheld, um, uh, you know, uh, like Super Soaker, and you hold that thing and you aim with it and everything. It, it seems pretty interesting. I'd like to give it a shot. Um, if it's good for the channel, I, 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 I can definitely make some use with that. If it's not so great, that's okay. I'm trying to focus on more... I'm trying to focus on content that I will enjoy making um, just as much as someone might enjoy watching. Um, like, for example, there are a few people right now that are doing Final Fantasy uh, 7 HD Remake. 
If you guys would like to uh, see me continue that series and possibly even finish it, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I've got about seven or eight videos on the series out so far, and each of them only has about, realistically, eight or si between six to eight views. Um, they're, they're not doing well at all. Um, let's be honest, uh, years later, that may change. Um, years later, the channel will, well, years later, I don't, I don't honestly see that far into the future. Um, no one does. What am I talking about? Anyway, um, later on, as time goes by, things will change and the channel will grow and develop. But right now, currently, as it sits, the only thing holding this entire channel together is Naruto Battle Climax. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Um, it's the only series I have with more than 100 views per video. It's the only series I have that's, uh, that any individual video has topped over 1,000 views. Um, like, literally 90% of my channel right now is Naruto Battle Climax. <laughs> that's just mentioning it. <laughs> the algorithm loves it. Um, it's like literally the Five Nights of Freddy's of my channel. It's all I'm good at. <laughs> I, it's pretty much, I'm the only one doing it. I'm the only one doing it. There's, there's like one or two other people that they have uh, previews of the characters and their special abilities, but they're not doing it in a Let's Play fashion. As a matter of fact, even the author of the actual... Uh, uh, should, I, should I say author? The, the person that modded the game. The person that took the the Mugen engine itself and put the Naruto characters and the Naruto stages in it. Uh, I don't, I can't pronounce his name, Ulukar. Even, you know, he's got some videos on Naruto Battle Climax and they're really good, but they're mainly in the format of this is the character, this is their special abilities, this is how to activate them. And that's, that's the format. It's not sort of a let's play, um, it's not sort of a let's play presentation. So I'm the only one I know of that's doing that. And it's really helped out the channel a lot over the last year and a half. Um, we're nearing the end of the series, which I'm hoping could be done possibly by the end of this month, maybe by the middle of next month. I know that I'm basically the worst procrastinator on planet Earth. Um, <laughs> I could have this, I could have finished this series months ago if I had been uploading every other day. Um, like I'm supposed to, with at least one Naruto Battle Climax video out each week, I probably would have been done months ago. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> we won't mention that. We won't mention procrastination. Um, that's pretty much uh, what I've got going on right now. Um, I wrote down in my notes PC upgrade because I wanted to mention that you know, I'm still planning on that, but I think in the last three or four Russ Robo Channel News, I've talked about getting my PC upgraded. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I really do want to get it taken in. I've got plenty of money to do it. I just haven't gotten around to it. There's been so many changes lately. I'm living in a new home. I'm paying new bills. I'm working on a, uh, the, the new old shift at Walmart. Um, my hours are completely different. My schedule is completely different. The home is completely different. I've got things that I need to repair. When I moved in here, there's holes in the roof from the uh, there's holes in the interior of the roof from the Hurricane Michael storm that happened a couple years uh, ago. Gosh, it seems so strange to say years ago when it re in reference to that storm. That was a very bad storm. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, for those of you that don't live in the Panhandle uh, area, it was uh, pretty rough. But anyway, there's been a lot of issues that I need to take care of with the home, paying new bills, having a new schedule. Um, there's so many things that go on beyond just the channel and beyond just myself. But I appreciate people subscribing and understanding that I'm trying to be as honest and as uh, forward as possible with all of the things that I'm doing, and especially all of the that, and especially all of the things that I'm not doing. For example, all of the things that I talk about doing that I keep putting off. Another thing that I... I always keep saying another thing that I wanted to mention. But, um, I've been doing a lot better on, um, like, controlling... Basically, basically it's just something that I wanted to bring up is that I've been doing a lot better with my self-control, personally. Uh, just for me. I've been doing a lot better, um, with 
staying away from drinking, uh, staying away from the late nights, uh, you know, not going to the bars often, not having as much to drink. And I don't know exactly if that's appropriate to bring up here. I just wanted to let people know that there are, there, there are things that I, you know, we all go through. There are things that everyone goes through. On a personal basis, there are things that you're going to wind up dealing with every single day. We all have our struggles. We all have our demons. And I guess, I don't know if it's really just a pat on the back or if I should even feel good about it. Actually, I know I should feel good about it, but I don't, I don't want to get up on my high horse and pretend like, uh, you know, oh, I'm doing something amazing. I'm really not. I've just been better about controlling uh, my own self when it comes to indulgences, the, uh, you know, drinking too much, having too much alcohol. Um, I always, I've, I've been having that issue for the last few years now, and I've mentioned before that it's majorly affected the channel, and it still does, to a decent degree, but I'm, I'm still managing with that. I've done better, and I'm actually really proud of that. I don't know why I would mention it to the audience, except for the fact that you know, I like the idea that people will say, you know, hey, he's trying. He's he's making videos. He's he's making content. There's still there's still so many things that I want to learn. Uh, formatting, excellent video editing, um, good music selection, better lighting, much better lighting. Um, there's so many things that, honestly, I wish the people. I don't know if that's appropriate to mention. But I've already started it, so now I might as well finish it, or I'll have to edit it out completely. I wish that the content creators that already have two, three, maybe ten million subscribers, I wish they had lessons that they would teach other content creators. Like, I know they don't hold classes or hold seminars, and I know you can't get in contact with them or ever ask them any questions unless you, as well, have several million subscribers. Um, it seems that you can't get feedback from anyone in your hobby or industry unless you're at their level. And I'm, you know, let's, let's say just hypothetically, and this is a message to other content creators as well. Let's say hypothetically that I did have a few thousand subscribers or a few million subscribers and now I have all that experience. I have all of that knowledge that I can draw upon. I have all of this experience that I've been doing it for years and I know what I'm doing. And I, at that point, I would be able to speak with those other creators with a similar amount of experience and a similar amount of influence. I would be able to speak to them one-on-one -on -one directly and we would be able to exchange information and I would learn from them and they could possibly learn from me but have you ever noticed that I don't necessarily I might not necessarily need their advice then I'll have already had enough experience and enough influence to have gained such knowledge at that time I need their advice now cuz I to get here from down here, I need to know what it's like up here. We all do. And that's that's just a message to other content creators as well. There are so many things that I've had to learn just on my own. Uh, making a channel intro, making a channel outro, thumbnail creation, which still has a very long way to go, lighting, audio, camera setup, recording software, all of it. And that applies to every type of content creation under this platform. No matter what type of content you're creating, there are many things that you have to learn mainly on your own. And at the time, it would be much more beneficial if you had someone at a higher level to teach you. And obviously, all of what I've just said and rambled on about could be summed up in, I'd say, one sentence. We all need a sensei. <laughs> we all need a senpai, someone to notice us. And I don't know why I would bring that up except for the fact that I've been I've been noticing lately about I've been noticing things that other content creators do that I think to myself, why didn't I think of that? 
So it's just a message to other content creators or just anyone in any kind of creative industry, whether whether you create videos or or whether you draw or paint or sculpt, whatever medium you find yourself in. I understand that you had to learn a lot on your own, but just keep pushing because sometimes I, I understand the struggle that you want to get to a higher level, you want to get to a level where some other people have been, and it's very difficult to contact them because, well, um, to be frank, we're not on their level. So they're just very difficult to contact. Um, I think that's all I have for this channel news. I have rambled on quite a bit. I've gone way off script, which is probably for the best because most people don't really like scripts. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.